My name is Neil Forse, an application engineer with Agilent Technologies, and in this video, we're going to be doing a comparison of Agilent's exclusive Trueform waveform generation technology that's found in the 33500B series of function arbitrary waveform generators. We're going to be comparing it to the incumbent technology, Direct Digital Synthesis, or DDS for short, that's found in the majority of function arbitrary waveform generators on the market today. Trueform provides a number of performance and signal quality advantages over DDS. We're going to be doing two comparison measurements in this video, starting with a jitter comparison measurement. So what we're looking at is a 9.9 .9 megahertz signal coming from our DDS generator. We're looking at the edge of that signal, the rising edge of that signal in green. We're zoomed in on it at about 100 picoseconds per division, and we can see the variation here with the persistence setting on the scope on. Uh, here is a histogram, and our histogram is showing us we have over 30 picoseconds of RMS jitter on our signal. Now let's take a look at the true form. So now we're looking at the true form signal, same scope settings, and we can see that there's drastically less variation on the true form edge. You can barely see the histogram here, but we're looking at less than two picoseconds RMS jitter, superior jitter performance in Trueform. For our second comparison measurement, we're going to show how Trueform technology gives you a true representation of all the points for a waveform and how DDS only gives you approximation because it often skips points. So let's go over to the scope here. Here we have two of the identical waveforms a square wave with seven descending amplitude spikes. Each spike is a single point. Here at 50 kilohertz, we can see true form on the top and DDS on the bottom. Both waveforms are represented correctly by both technologies at 50 kilohertz. At 80 kilohertz, we still have our seven spikes on our true form waveform up top, but on DDS, we lost two of our spikes and we only have five spikes because we have skipped points. And finally, here we are at 100 kilohertz, and we can see with the true form, we still have our seven spikes, and at DDS, at 100 kilohertz, we've lost all of our spikes. All those points have been skipped. So in this video, we looked at a comparison of true form waveform generation technology versus DDS waveform technology. We showed how true form has superior jitter over DDS, and how true form gives you a real or true representation of the waveform, whereas DDS is just giving you an approximation. Thanks for watching.